Hi, this is Katie. Today, I am going to do something. There's somebody walking outside. I got distracted. Today, I'm going to do something that I'm actually really excited to do. I'm going to go through all my old like travel pictures. Um, I was going through my external hard drive the other day and I saw that I have a lot of pictures and even some videos of road trips and stuff that I've gone on in the past four or five years or so. And so I want to look at them and I want to show them to you. So that's what we're gonna do today. Aren't you excited? A lot of people talk like this. Okay, I just gotta get into it. So I'm gonna move over here so I can put the pictures here. Does that work? Okay, so computer. All right. <laughs> Let's go through some interesting things, shall we? The voices today, Katie, are being weird. I'm being weird. Okay, and so we're starting off actually with like my favorite video, basically of all time. I guess I'll just put it here like silently while I talk. Um, but basically, I was driving with my friend through Yellowstone and he was driving and I fell asleep in the passenger seat and he like stopped short and it woke me up and I like sat up and I like looked out the window and I saw a bison like in the middle of the road. And it was nighttime, so like it was terrifying. He like really had to stop short so he didn't hit him. But the bison was just walking in the middle of the road, as you can see. And it's like my favorite video. He eventually moved. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because it's like a minute long, but it was so cool. If you guys have never been to Yellowstone, you have to go, even if it's just for the bison sightings, but like, they're just so cool. Um, this, <laughs> this is a picture of me. So this is what I looked like three and a half years ago. I had long black curly hair with black bangs, obviously black bangs. Do people have different colored bangs than the rest of their hair? Whatever. And this is me eating one of my favorite foods in the entire world, which is a lemon loaf from Tula Bakery in Portland. Um, this is another one of my favorite pictures. I guess I just have a lot of favorite pictures, but if they weren't my favorites, why would I be showing you them? So duh. Um, and it's just one of my favorite pictures because I think my hair looks really cool. And I know so many of you are gonna be like, Kitty, you should go back to dark hair. And I'm gonna be like, maybe one day. Again, like look how cool I am in this picture. Like, look at my bangs. Look at my sunglasses, look at my lipstick, look at my birds on my knee. Like, I was so cool three and a half years ago. What happened to me? Uh, this picture, I look so different. Like, does this look like the same person? This was from about three years ago when I lived in Portland. I remember taking this picture. Um, that's my leather jacket that I got at Buffalo Exchange. But anyway, so that's what I look like with the hair, giant rose ring, contacts. That doesn't even look like me. That's so weird. So weird. Another obvious cool picture. So I was in Portland. I lived in Portland about three years ago for like six months. And I went to this little like, I don't even know what you'd call it. My friend and I called it the pool, but it was definitely not a pool. It was like a thing with like steps, but there was water. I don't know. But either way, um, I found somebody who, okay, I need to backtrack. I have the quote, living like a vagabond tattooed on my left leg. And so when my friend and I were at this pool thing, um, we found a guy who was visiting from like LA, I think, and he had the word vagabonding tattooed on his left leg. And we were like, what? Like, it's not a very common word. And then we both have it tattooed on our left leg. Like we thought it was the craziest thing in the entire world. Okay, what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Why am I saying it like a parakeet? That's not a parakeet. A toucan? What's the one that, that talks? The bird. I'm an idiot sometimes. That can't be all the pictures that I have. Where are more? What is this? Oh, okay. So here's the cool ones. Okay. So about a year and a half ago, I went to Zion National Park. Actually, I went on like a three week solo road trip, camping trip. But my first stop was Zion National Park. And my first hike that I did, um, I met a park ranger who just happened to have the next two days off and he like brought me on other hikes and showed me around and stuff. So we went on a hike in the Narrows, um, which is like in a river. But anyway, it was one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. If you guys can go to Zion and hike in the Narrows, just do it. Like even if you don't go to like the hard part that we went to, obviously like just the regular part, which is still difficult. Like some parts you have to swim. It's very um, slippery and it's kind of dangerous, but it was just one of the most amazing things I've ever, ever, ever done. Oh, here's some in Yellowstone. Here is, I don't know what geyser that is. Do you know? I have no idea. I don't know, a geyser. This is me with purple hair. 
It has nothing to do with traveling or anything, just that I had purple hair. Oh! <laughs> so, like a year ago, when I lived in Austin, I got a Groupon for intro to hang gliding lessons. So I did that. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. It was just the intro, and like obviously you can see I only like get a little bit off the ground, but it was really cool. I felt like I was flying, because I mean, I was flying, guys. I had wings. I was a bird. I thought this video was gonna have so much more content. And by content, I mean pictures. I thought I had more pictures. But I guess it's mostly videos, and then that's it. <gasps> Ooh, pictures, 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 pictures. I found some, I found some, I found some. Any cool ones? Yes, that one's cool. And that one's cool. And that one's the same one. That one's cool. Yeah. These are from, I'm probably just gonna like scroll through some of these. These are from um, Yellowstone. Do you guys know that Yellowstone's my favorite place yet? It is my favorite place. Favorite place. Above that. Do do. This picture is from Bozeman. Okay, so here's some more pictures of Bozeman that I found. Um, mountains and pretty things. And guys, Bozeman is just like, Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then <laughs> here's another one of my favorite pictures. I was trying to take a picture of like the mountains or the skyline or whatever, mountains. And and a truck went by, <laughs> but like, I mean, you guys can see. I got like kinda, the truck is kinda in the picture. Like I got photobombed by a truck. Here is a fantastic picture of me. Here's a picture of one of my campgrounds. I don't remember where, but look how cute my tent is. It's just like a little baby. I just found the best picture of the whole bunch. The best, best picture. Um, my dad and my brother and I went hiking. Gosh, this was a long time ago. Like, I don't even know, six, seven, eight years ago. No, a long time ago. We went hiking in Connecticut and we saw somebody playing the didgeridoo, like up on the mountain. And it was like the coolest thing that we've all ever seen in our entire lives. Like just, just a guy, just a guy playing didgeridoo in the mountains. I mean, to be fair though, if you're playing a didgeridoo, you should be playing in the mountains. I mean, when I was in LA once, I went to a little restaurant, I guess it was called Carney's Express. Um, first of all, it was called Carney's Express and Carney is my last name, if you guys don't know, which you should. Um, but second of all, it was like on a train, not a moving train, like a part, like a, like a train car on the ground, but it was so cool. And I got a hot dog and I could eat it. It was cool. This picture is from the one time that I went over the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco and it was so foggy that day. So like I couldn't get like an amazing picture, but I got a foggy one. This is a picture of what may have been my first time eating in and out. It may have been, especially because there's tomatoes on it and I do not get tomatoes on my burger. So this is probably my first time, or at least one of my first times. I miss In-N-Out. Do any of you guys live near In-N-Out? Can you mail me some? I miss it so much. It's my favorite place to eat in the entire world. Oh my gosh. And these are the best french fries in the entire world. At least top two or three um, from, oh my gosh, what is this place called? Oh my gosh, what is this place called? It's like a wannabe in and out, but they only have it in Portland. Oh my gosh, what is this place called? It's, it's gonna kill me. I'm gonna write it somewhere because I will find it out before I edit this video. Um, but they had like the best french fries. They were truffle fries. So they put like truffle oil on them. Their burgers were like fine. They also sold alcohol. Um, but anyway, oh, their fries were so good. What the heck is that place called? Okay, so I'm gonna stop there because my nose is itchy and because it's so much footage. Um, if you guys like this video, I can do another one. I do have more pictures that I did not show. Um, but anyway, I hope you liked this video. I hope that you liked reminiscing with me a little bit about some of my past travels and some of my past hairdos. And I guess that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not so you can see new videos of my face every Tuesday and Friday. Do I say anything else? I don't think so. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Do 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 do